Hi, Cassie. I hope you're doing well. I just wanted to go over the uh, check run approval uh, that we created for you guys. So this is uh, just to give you guys some pre pretense. This is actually built off of two save searches and then a customization to the uh, uh, pay bills template. And I'll go over all those details for you. And then two aspects of the save searches is that um, one person has to propose the payment and then a different person has to, to approve the payment. And um, it can be the same person in two different roles. It has to be two different users. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of show you how we uh, get to the, um, I'm in the accounting management world. Well, notice I'm in Bruce Wolf. This is gonna be proposing the payments. I'm gonna go over here to the financial, other, and then we go down here to save searches. So once we open up the save searches, we can see here that there are two that we created and we can actually put these on your dashboard it just depends on what you want and so if you go here to view we open it up these are the ones that's the person's going to be proposing it and we hit edit this search so i apologize to not edit the search we make sure it's an edit mode and you essentially just choose the ones you want to approve so i am going to propose these uh, echo fasten ones right the due date is by 8 3 right so I'm gonna go in here I'm gonna say hey I'm gonna propose this payment I'm gonna propose this payment I want to propose this payment I'm gonna propose this payment all these seem good uh, no I'm not gonna do flat so let's take that off right so it's been proposed and we're just doing the echo fasten payments right so now it's been proposed so please note now that we've done this, we can go over here and go into the financial other, and then we can look at the other safe search. And we can see that these proposed echo facets, these 023826 number scheme is going to be in this list. Let me go ahead and pull it up for you. Save search. And it'll be here. And you can see that these echo fast and loans that I just proposed are in this approved payment. Um, I'm not going to be able to approve these from this role because it can't be the same person that proposes them. It can't be the same person that approves them. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the other role. Let me do that real quick. Now I've jumped into my other username. Notice I'm now in Graver Olama before I was Bruce Wolf. I was the, in the accounting manager role before, even though that doesn't necessarily matter. And, uh, now I'm going to get, I'm now going to give a lot of administrator role, right? And so I'm going to go back and go find those uh, approved sales orders. So I'm going to go down here to list as administrator. The center is always different depending on the role that you're in. I'm going to go down to lists. And I'm going down to search. And we're going to look at the saved searches. And now since we are the ones to be approving them, and um, Bruce was the one that proposed them, we're going to go into a view make sure it's edit mode and these are the ones that he actually approved and um, please note that I added this filter here and it shows the approved payments right and it right now has all so if we actually wanted to go to say hey we want to know what's exactly approved as of so far it'll be updated right now only 11,749 is approved but we want to say we want to see all of them and decide how much is it going to be so we're going to be doing this all the echo facets we're going to approve these all right and now we can go down to and see we have 158,384 approved and this is going to be a way and you can control your cash to see how much cash you guys are outputting uh, each pay cycle, each uh, vendor payment cycle. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and jump over into the um, payments part, right? So you go to transactions, payables, uh, pay vendor invoices. So now that we're in here, you're going to see that this is approved payments tab, and it's only showing the ones that have been approved, right? We can go to all. You can see all the all the tabs these are all the these are so these also includes the proposed payments 
but um, we only want to know the ones that have what this this includes all the vendor bills, but we but doesn't necessarily include the ones that have been proposed, but it includes the ones that have been proposed and approved. So if you want to see just the ones that have been approved, you go up here and you go to disapprove tab, you hit yes. And you can see that these are just the ones that have been approved and you can choose which ones you want to do by checking them off here. So how I added this real quick, and that's what we'll have to do together um, on your screen is I went, go, went ahead and went to customize additional filters and I pressed approve payments and I added that filter right here. If you guys want additional columns here as well, we can add those. Um, the other thing I want to go over involving the save searches was right now the save searches are uh, available for every, I'll show you here. They're available for everyone, right? Um, we audience, they have no stipulations. However, if we want, we can actually stipulate that they're only available for certain roles. Right, or maybe certain departments or certain employees, uh, you decide, right? Right now they're not public, but uh, so they're not easily found, but the but we can stipulate that we only want people that are senior accountants to propose it and for the for the proposal and for the payment, for the approval one, we can say we only want the controller and administrator to have permission to look at them. I hope this helps. Let me know if there is any more um, customizations or any thoughts on this. I made sure I had the total amount that's being approved listed on there. And, um, and this is what we have currently. So let me know your thoughts and any kind of mention. All those dashboards right now went through lists. All those safe searches went through lists, safe searches, right through this method. We can also make it so that it's actually one of these dashboard items on here as well. Or if we go to transactions, we can make it as one of the dashboard items on here as well. So it's whatever your preferences and how you want to access the data and how you want to view it. Thank you.